I think it's difficult for non-physicians to get a good grasp of what's going on here mm -hmm. when we talk about propofol. And Sanjay, in a minute, I want you to give us your opinion, but Dr. Orden, you've got some propofol yeah, I there. I came in with, with a 50 cc bottle of propofol that I got from my surgery center this morning from my anesthesiologist. Now we use this every day. This is done by the anesthesiologist in a controlled setting, setting monitoring all the proper resuscitation equipment there in a hospital setting. We use it all the time. I can't, eat, I can't administer this myself. You have to be either an anesthesiologist, an anesthetist, or somebody who went through further training mm -hmm. and testing in its use. This is a medicine that's very powerful. This is a medicine that I will give in the emergency department. If let's say you come in with a severely broken arm and it needs to be reset or a dislocated shoulder that's going to be so painful to do that procedure that we need to put you to sleep. But this is not a sleep medicine. And it really is almost, in my opinion, it's, it's like you're giving a drug. And the whole time that drug is in someone's system, they're standing on a cliff. And if they get just a little bit too much of that drug, over the cliff they go, and you can Bye -bye. die almost immediately.